Hi, my name is Max Eifts. I'm here to talk about Report Printing Enhancements in Apex 422. This is part one of a multi-part series of videos showing recent enhancements that make it much easier to enable report printing and creating your own customized report layouts. In this first video, we're going to focus on configuring your Apex instance to allow for exporting reports in PDF format. PDF printing has been an option since Apex 3.0. However, enabling PDF printing has been difficult due to the need for setting up an external print rendering engine and configuring a database to allow for outgoing HTTP connections. Additionally, there have been only limited options available for customizing report layouts. The Apache FOP based printing option, included in Apex free of charge, only allows for minimal customizations, while the Beer Publisher based printing option does provide flexible report layout features but requires a separate license for Beer Publisher. In Apex 4.2.2 we've added a third option. Using the Apex Listener 2.0 with Apex 4.2.2, it is now possible to enable report printing simply by selecting the Apex Listener as a print rendering engine. This means no need to set up another external engine, no need to type in a URL pointing to that rendering engine, and no need to enable networking services in the database. Also, customizing report layouts has been made much easier by supporting industry standard Access LFO based report layouts created using third party tools such as Altova Style Vision or Starter Studio or other tools. Let's take a look at the setup first. Both the Apex FOP and Beer Publisher based setup are still supported. So let's review how these options work first. The Apache FOP based option requires setting up Apache FOP as an external print rendering engine. Apex includes an FOP jar file, which can be found in the utilities folder in your Apex installation directory. This jar file needs to be installed on an OC4J J2EE server. Once installed, the Oracle database needs to be configured to enable networking services, which allows Apex to call out to the FOP rendering engine via HTTP. The system administrator will also have to enter the server URL and script information into the print configuration settings in the Apex instance administration. Once set up, developers can enable PDF printing on their classic reports, interactive reports and report queries. When exporting a report in PDF format, Apex is loading the report data into an XML file and sends this file along with a generic XSLFO layout or custom XSLFO layout to the FOP rendering engine via HTTP and retrieves back the rendered PDF into the database, which is then downloaded to your browser. The Beer Publisher option works essentially the same way as the Apache FOP option. The difference here is that Beer Publisher needs to be set up on its own instance, typically using WebLogic, and Apex needs to be configured to point to a specific access point in Beer Publisher for PDF rendering. In addition to access LFO layouts, Beer Publisher also supports RTF-based layouts created with Microsoft Word. It also allows for exporting a report in Excel or Word format in addition to PDF. What's new in Apex 42 when used with the Apex Listener 2.0 is that you can now simply select Apex Listener as your print server without setting up any additional rendering engine. In this case, Apex still generates an XML file based on your report data but then combines the XML data with your Access LFO layout and downloads this combined document to the Apex listener, which intercepts the document and renders it in PDF format and then sends it straight to your browser without any extra round trip to the database. Let's take a look at how to configure Apex with the Apex listener for PDF printing. You first log into the Apex Instant Administration. Then we click on Manage Instance, click on Instance Settings, and scroll down to Report Printing. Now select the Oracle Apex Listener as your print server, and no other attributes are required and they will simply be hidden. Click Apply Changes, and that's it. Now let's see this in action. Uh, first log into your Apex Workspace. Then click on the Application Builder and click on Create to create a new application. Select Database as your application type. 
I'll click next and add a classic report on the M table or any other table that you like. I'll then click create application and complete the wizard. Now before we run the report, let's first edit the report page. Right click on your report region to edit the print attributes. On the print attributes page, set enable report printing to yes. Hit apply changes and run your page. Now when you scroll down, there will be a print link underneath your report region. And when you click that link, you will get your report in PDF format. One additional thing to note when choosing the Apex Listener as a print running engine is that when using the PLC called Print APIs for developing custom print processes, it is still required to enable network services in the database. That's because the APIs still require the PDF to be loaded back into the database so that you can store the documents in B-log columns, attach them to emails, or download them to the browser using custom code. This concludes the first part of our series on PDF printing announcements in Apex 422. During the second part, we'll cover how to create custom report layouts with third-party report design tools.